Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new series. Today I'm gonna to be playing Amazing Cultivation Simulator. This game apparently is kind of like RimWorld or Judgment or any games like that where you simulate a colony and then you lead them to glory or doom. Whatever happens, happens, right? Now this one is based on Chinese mythology and I believe your goal is to create a sect or a cult and then try to achieve immortality. Now, when I first saw this game, it was shown to me my, by my buddy Fallen Shogun. I was like, eh, this looks too much anime for me. But then I was taught by my stream chat that this is definitely not anime because it's Chinese and so it's called, I don't know what, something else. It doesn't matter. And I saw, I saw Shogun play it for a bit. I saw him play tutorial and a bit of actual gameplay. And I was like, this looks really cool. I want to give it a try. So I bought it and here I am. I'm giving it a try. I played through the basic tutorial, the most basic one. I don't want to spoil myself with anything over here. And I played for like 15 minutes. I started in a desert with a normal human being, a turtle who was so slow that it took a whole day to get from bed to a meal, and a bird who turns out cannot survive in a desert and he died on the second day. So that was a great start. I loved it. It was awesome. Also, why does this guy have a dildo in his head? I don't know. Anyway, I want more of it. After that start, I wanted more of it. So we're gonna go in here, we're gonna start a classic journey. Now, I understand a lot of you guys have seen this game before, have played it maybe. Please don't spoil it for me too much, okay? I might ask some questions. If I'm gonna be stuck, I'm gonna go check the tutorials. We will probably fail, we might fail, we might succeed, we'll see. But the journey and the story we create along the way is the important. So here we have on the classic, we can edit all of the stuff. I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. The way it is, it can be. Environment, we can change over here. We're gonna get some, I guess, monsters, some fey. Uh, we're gonna change this map C to 69, 420, 69, let's say. Perfect. Now, out here. Uh, we can start in planes. This one seems to be like the most normal. So something like temperate forest in RimWorld. We have a canyon. So few trees and soil. But it has mountains, I guess. Maybe for mining. It's good. Uh, Danish jungle. Uh, Lax mineral veins. We have wetlands. Uh, fertile soil in vast waters. Ancient battlefield. There's some dead bodies that may come alive at night. Oh boy. Desert. Well, I hear this one is pretty... Uh, pretty hot <laughs> where birds die <laughs> although it was raining constantly so I don't know how it was possibly hot but that's fine and a plateau so low temperature thin distribution of spiritual water I don't know we're gonna start with wetlands let's say I, I really don't I don't care and then we have legacies no legacy fiery chasm natural cavern here that leads all the way down to the core of the earth okay maybe high temperature frozen furnace yeah, that sounds pretty good. Ice never melts. It might be cold. May cause adverse weather. Otherworld the rift. Space years have been shattered. So items or cultivators from other planes might pass through. And Illumi tree, a curious plant named Illumi tree grows here. You can turn soil nearby into spiritual soil. Okay, the pollen it releases may cause blocked meridians and suppress key. I don't know what any of these things mean, and I like it. And Yin Yang Stella. Fascinating stone construct shaped by the natural flow of yin and yang is located here. Okay, there's a profound secret over here. Whenever someone tries to study it, a weather anomaly will emerge. I don't know, let's go with the tree. Sounds like a good idea. The rest of the stuff, we're gonna leave as it is. And we're gonna go in there, confirm, and figure it out how all things work. Now this is probably gonna be a short series, <laughs> because I'm probably gonna uh, not succeed very well. But that's fine. Uh, if you guys really, really like it, then we can continue onwards, create a better, longer series or anything like that. Now, for our starting dude, this is gonna be the, the immortal guy that, well, he's gonna try to be immortal. I'm gonna go with a human. Yeah? A he- wow, that's a, that's a haircut. Nice. Strong spirit. Thunderstruck. Strong and optimist. Sounds like me. 100%. Uh, we can, we can change the way they look over here the fact that you can give them eyes like this is perfect like you you can't you can't go wrong with eyes like this yeah so let's go with eyes like this this is the nose that's definitely the mouth 
Ears. Let's go with these ones. Marks. Whatever that is. Scars. <laughs> Beautiful. No accessories. I would like to change the haircut, but uh, that seems fine. And this is how we're going to actually look in the game. Maui. No, no, no. This is Steve. Do we need a... Okay. I, do we need a second name? We do. Fine. Fine. Okay, we're going to go with Steve. Steve Carrico. As it should be. Alright. Now we get perks that we can choose from. This is fine. Um, we're... Being a strong spirit is not very good, is it? This lowers everything. Okay, you know what? No. Uh, randomize that. Ooh, stunted genius. Okay. Key sense goes down, but we are... Purr and con and battle goes up. And a witch? Yeah, okay, that looks better. Warrior? Strong? Good tempered. Okay, that seems good. Sure, you can look like this, but uh, you have to have eyes like this. Though. Your eyes should have be like this. Th there you go. And definitely it's gonna be a Steve. Steve... Sure, Steve Carrico. Perfect. So we have... Not very good skills, <laughs> I guess. But he's a warrior, so it's fine. 17 years old warrior that looks like he has seen things. I'm fine with that. Now we have perks. We can pick different perks. So this one over here, I saw that it's recommended for beginners. It unlocks the law, true sun refining law. But what if we go with uh, casual? Five senses increased, but we don't have a specific law. We could be a casual boy. Look at that. We go up a bit, not much. I don't know. Just maybe go. Let's go with the yeah. What the game said we want to go. Now we can go with a. Uh, Charisma and social skill increased. Eh, sociable? We can get more disciples. You know what, let's try, let's start with more. Yeah, we can get another dude. Why not? And we have two more perks. Swordsman. And we can have a... We start with a sword. Perfect. Ironclad. We have key barrier power or enchanted. Spell power increased. Well, we're a witch. So maybe we can be uh, enchanted. Why not? So we're going to be... True Sun Disciple, who is sociable, a swordsman, and also enchanted. Perfect. He's got some skills. Fine. Now, let's take a look at our second dude. This is a wolf Yao Guai. A female wolf Yao Guai. Amazing. It's got some farming skills, some mining, good battle skills. I don't know if a wolf is going to survive well in the wetlands, but might as well. Uh, we have a... What are you? I don't know. What, Whatever he is. We can rename these these guys as well, but hey. Uh, let's see. You are cruel and calm. Superior combat talents beyond human limits. I like that. So he's a wolf Yao guy. You are a bull Yao guy. Okay. Hardworking. Meek. Naturally hardworking and good at farming. Okay, so this is a really good farmer. Experienced pharmacist. Why not? And the last one is a snake boy. Oh boy. Uh, let's go with another human. Just so we can get, you know, a human. Brothel born. <laughs> Tao is pri priest. Good tempered. Okay. Seems good. So we're gonna have uh, our Steve Carrico. Lang Zhen over here. Niu Zhuang. And Shen Tai, who is actually a human. We could rename these guys. But you know what? For this first game, which I already spent 10 minutes doing this, I'll just start it. A few days after escape. Because I believe our temple has been wrecked or something like that. Look at us. Alright. Choose the law. I think we can only choose this law, so... That's it. Now, you can zoom out. You can see this is the this is the whole map. It's year 246. It's spring, day 9. It's raining heavily. It might be even snowing a bit. That's fine. So, uh, we have our four boys. How are these guys doing? So we can check their health and stats and all that stuff. So he's soaking wet. He needs a room. Very healthy. Now we can see over here their temperature tolerance. So the bull can go from minus 58 to 40. That's pretty good. Uh, Shantai is minus 23 to 34. It's minus 14 right now. Whoa, boy. 
Lang Zang is minus 27 to 32, and Steve is minus 28 to 31. So I think we're fine. His lifespan is question mark. I, I don't like that, but that's okay. So, uh, first things first, let's chop some trees out here. Maybe something like that. I would also like to maybe explore more of this map up here. If somebody wants to do that, please go ahead. Now, over here, just the same as in RimWorld, we have work tab. So, we have these guys assigned to whatever they want to assign. And you can see what their skills are as you go over this. So, it looks like Shantai is a good healer. And also a good crafter. I like this. But, uh, I don't know if this is this priority really means anything. But, I'm going to go with healer. Sure, because he's actually a good healer. And maybe you can help with healing if needed. Chef? Nobody's really good chef. Steve has some skills. Long Zen is a good hunter. I don't know if the stars mean passion, like in RimWorld, but yeah, that's okay. So, this guy, New Zhang, is really good builder and farmer. But I think building is going to be important first, and then farmer second. And we'll get you guys farming as well. You can be our miner. If that's how it works. Yeah, and Steve, Steve, what the fuck are you good at? Besides really nothing. Steve really isn't good at anything. He, I guess he can build and... Yeah, PN. He, he can do that. Alright, uh, we'll see if that helps. The game is gonna get in here. Recording the world. And they are waking up and doing their things. Okay, looks like they're picking up stuff. Mysterious Immortal. For several days you hid during the day and traveled at night. Finally arriving at a secluded ravine. As you were about to relax, a light of teleportation suddenly struck. Showing the contour of a cultivator. So there's a mysterious cultivator here. The sect leader and I go way back. I caught wind of Tai's troubles and came as soon as I could, but it was too late. So, I guess this guy is gonna be helping us out for a bit. We can't control him, but he's just gonna be chilling around over here. Okay, you were exploring, weren't you? Go explore a bit more. Oh, do I just click like this? Oh, I just potentially click like this. There's a female bull out here. Okay, so we have more wood. We can also hold Alt to see more stuff. There you go. There's a... Oh, that's the Illumina... Illumi tree. Okay, nice. And New Zhang is actually chopping down trees. We're gonna need trees to get some stuff going. There's really a lot of water out here, huh? There's a tiger as well. I don't know how I feel about a tiger. I don't know how the animals work out here. They go on to go attack you and such as well. And this is Ice Crystal Orwain. Oh, so I guess this is mountain? Oh, this is rocks. Okay, so down here we're gonna have potential for mining. That's good to know. Now, building. First, we need to build a bonfire with wood. And then that's gonna unlock more stuff we can do. So let's build a bonfire and it's next to that tree. Let's get somebody on it. Looks like Neo Zhuang is doing it. And that's gonna unlock more stuff for us. Perfect. So now we can build... We're gonna start with a... Uh, Let's go with area. Let's go with the storage area, like, over here for now. Just store all the stuff in here. I'm fine with this. I don't know if you have any crops. But uh, maybe growing something would be smart. Now, this is rich soil. Okay, rich, beautiful soil. That seems like a good idea. Let's grow you something. Have selected a field. Okay, lady. Now you Calm can down. select the crop to be planted in this field. Okay, so different we can actually grow. Different soil requirements, ah. such as temperature, lighting, etc. Brazilian can grow in Pay temperature between the zero degrees. Means. Grants a hefty yield. Sure that the plants Herbs, mushrooms. Often grows in an environment of zero degrees. Can only grow in the dark. Okay, so not that one. There's a cotton, lotus, trees. Lots of trees. Let's start with wheat. You know, we're going to start with that. Let's pause. I've not actually tried... Uh, growing anything in this game yet. So this is the first time I'm doing it. That's fine. Now, work. We're gonna go with a workplace. Just a normal one right here next to the fireplace. And this one should allow us to make timber. And with timber, we can then build some more stuff. I'm gonna go get this one to loop endlessly. So out of the wood that we're gonna chop out here, which we might have already done, let's chop these trees out here. Yeah, the wood we're gonna chop. Oh, someone needs a farm tool. Everybody needs a farm tool. Oh, I guess they're all trying to farm right now. Alright. Stevie's down here. Oh, looks like there's a bigger forest down here. Very nice. I don't know how big the map is. There's also a bunch of frogs just chilling out here. That's kind of cool. 
Uh, I guess I can't click up there. Maybe that's the edge of the map. I don't know. Just explore a bit down there. Steve is doing it. People will go and haul. We have some bread, which is decaying. I would like this to be placed in there. So whoever's going to start crafting, which is Shentai, I can actually speed up the game a bit. He's producing timber now, as you can see. Just over here. So with the timber, we'll be able to start building stuff. So structure. We'll be able to start building walls and such. Um... So I did this one. This one is to create a timber axe. Oh, a farming tool. We needed a farming tool. So let's uh, put this one down. And let's see if we can produce a farming tool. Uh, we don't have a stone block. Hmm. Uh, I don't know if we start with any or not. So I guess we should go and just try mining a bit. Let's try mining a bit of this mountain out here. This ice crystal ore vein as well. Hopefully that's not going to be anything bad. There's jade and cinnabar. Ooh, it's kind of cool. Okay, so... You're going to over there. Okay, we need a mining tool as well. Oh, we did make a uh, farming tool. Okay. Let's produce uh, a pickaxe as well. And we do start with an axe. Maybe produce a bow so we can hunt. And then produce two more of these. If you can, that'd be nice. So we have brownstone. Cool. We're getting some of that. These guys are doing their thing. Now, I know we can also get them... Let's see, live... Um, blueprints, no. Not pastures, flooring, leisure. Tic-tac-toe. So they can play that as their leisure. You don't need to do anything. So just put it down, so that's fine. Decoration... Oh, training spot. So they'll be able to meditate, I believe, over here. So I'm gonna drop down one of these for each. If they need to meditate, because... I think if you look into the... I don't know exactly what... No, it's work, right? Yeah, sleep, train, eat, work, eat, work, eat, work, sleep. So, there you go. So there's the... You need a mining tool. Yeah, you're just you're just chilling. You're the wolf lady, I think. Punching rocks. You know, it's like Minecraft. As, as it should be, I guess. Now that we have some timber and we have some tools... Uh, I guess I should tell her to equip that tool. Now, I need to remember who is what. So, Lang Zhen is the miner. Are you Lang Zhen? Yes. So, she's gonna equip that. There she goes. Who was my main or best farmer? It was Niu Zhuang. Okay, so that's you. Niu Zhuang, you go equip the farming tool. Perfect. So, Shantai is drenched in heavy rain. Suddenly took an interest in the nearby wood when making timber. I mean, that's what you use when you make timber, bro. You use wood. Ah, oh, there she goes. Also, um... This crystal ore, I remember when playing the tutorial, it tells you, hey, the crystal ore is gonna make you freeze. I don't know if that's gonna happen over here, but <laughs> I guess we'll see soon. I guess we'll see soon. So we we did get this. And Langjen needed a farm tool. So looks like we did plant wheat. It's probably not gonna grow because it's minus six. Hey, you know, shit happens. Now, how about we go and build some bedrooms? So everybody can get a bedroom. Maybe not in the rich soil. So maybe we build further up here in the forest. We start building some bedrooms. Small bedrooms, you know, as as you would in Rimworld. Maybe... Yeah, yeah, something like that. Start building that. And everybody's gonna need a bedroom, I hope. Or eventually everybody is gonna get a bedroom. Let's chop these trees out here as well. And uh, let's get some of these uh, rocks out of the way as well. There they go. Very nice. So, we have some fruit. Okay, no, she's, she seems to be fine. You can see her uh, health over here. Just as normal, so it seems fine. It's gonna looks like you take her a while. Get the <laughs> oh my god, somebody's following me on Twitch right now. All right, all right. We do have a bow. Who would be our hunter? Our hunter was Langjen, who's also our miner. But Steve can actually do it. Steve isn't doing anything else, so I guess Steve can be a hunter. Hey, Steve, go. Right, I have to do F2 to equip. Good. 
He's gonna do that. He also has a sword, right? If we look at his... Z equipment. Yeah, oh, he's he switched to a bow. You know what? No. Just keep your sword. I thought he might have two things at the same time, but I guess not. That's fine. Yeah, you keep your sword. It looks pretty damn cool, actually. Oh, there's more farming tools. If you guys want them, you can equip them. And there comes our first building being built. Now, we can see uh, over here we're going to have a bedroom, tables, graves, unfortunately. Uh, we'll be able to build more... That's our sect stuff. We can do a handcrafting station, which is better probably than that. We can build a well. So this is more sanitary than water from the wilderness. Less likely to carry disease. So very smart to have one of those, right? And then we can have all of these stations. Handcraft, timber, stonework. Eventually we'll have these. Oh, look at that. That looks pretty cool. That's our first building. Don't hit that male tiger. I just want to see that tiger <laughs> start hunting us. Slowly not going to go wrong. Do you want to build him a table as well? Uh, oh, I sped the game up instead of turning around. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's build a table over there. Yeah, th this bedroom can have a, p a table. I, I will allow it. Now, we should be able to go and create a the blueprint. blueprint. You can drag and Dude, select an area stop. of buildings that is no more than 20 by 20 spaces there you go. at any time. And Bed door wall. Yes. Confirm. Blueprints can be used uh, this is going to be our bedroom. Confirm. So now we have a bedroom. And we can do it something like this, right? Oh, come on. You can't place walls over walls? Well, then it's pretty useless. Actually, uh, let's delete that. Yeah, we can do it... We can do the blueprint like this. There you go. And we go bedroom. Acceptable. Alright. Build a bedroom. Build a bedroom. Build a bedroom. Boom. Okay, we're gonna have, I guess, a table in the first one. That's about it. And Niu Zhang is sleeping on the ground next to the bed. Yeah, that seems amazing. And... Shentai is gonna sleep in here. Alright. Let's speed the game up overnight. Also, we have elements out here. So... These all connect to each other. So I believe... If we... I don't know exactly how it works, but I think... Since we are in a watery environment, I think we are at least. It's good that we do wooden stuff? I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is how things work. Also, I'm really scared. There's bears here. There's tigers here. Seems dangerous. I do hope that they will hunt the rabbits first. Oh, actually, I would like to see maybe one of these guys hunted could be kind of cool. Uh, do we not have enough timber? Oh, they're all training right now. Look at them go. Ho, ha, hu, hu, ha. Shantai, you don't have any tools, do you? You have a character that has been injured by abnormal T. Refer uh, to the health menu for more information about the injury. That's probably bad. Medicine cannot be used Niu to is hurt. Due to abnormal tea. Why are you hurt? Rather, you have to use oh. elixirs created in the So this is the, the stuff from the tree the over here. To consume it. Ah, the speed okay. At which this type of injury heals depends on the recovery ability of the injured character and the quality okay. of the elixir used. So we need to drink the, the elixir. We have a forming pill. Try to improve one or more of these. Perfect. Um, I don't know. Eat the elixir. We'll see what happens when he does it. He drank the elixir. Succeeded in laying a foundation. Um, oh, I can promote them. Oh, I think that thing might... I should have probably read what he was doing. Sure, promote them. Uh, choose law. Sure. I don't know what happened exactly, but... Uh, hey, this guy is having uh, an epiphany. He's hurt due to a weird tree, but uh, that's all good. Cultivator again. 
Okay, someone has broken through. Oh, I think this was supposed to be uh, Steve Carico. <laughs> uh, uh, sure. We can establish a sack now. So I'm guessing he is the leader now. Yeah, oops. That's that's fine. I, I gave him the wrong thing. No worries. I was supposed to give that to uh, <laughs> Steve. All right. Uh, we can assign these beds. Uh, I don't know. Oh, Shantai had this bed. All right. And I guess New Zong is going to have this one. Sure. This bed that has snow over it is going to belong to Steve. And this bed has still not been built, so let's wait for that to happen. How are we doing on wood? A new home. Unlock advanced furniture, advanced workstations. Very good. While we're still producing timber on the ground. I mean, what could possibly go wrong, right? And the... Oh! The tiger attacked Karika. You dildo. Okay. Um, defeat mode? Attack. Langshan. Attack. The tiger. Near Zhuao. Uh, I know you're doing your things, but attack the tiger. Shen. I need you. We need to defeat the tiger. I have a feeling this, this might not go so well. Oh. Did you just build the place? Oh, oh, the cultivator is helping us. Okay. Oh, did we kill the tiger? Okay, the tiger has been killed, but Steve is hurt. He's still in battle, apparently. No, he's no longer. Uh, so his right foot muscle is cut. Oh, we need to fix that. What is he doing now? Steve, what are you doing? He is... Go to target area. No, dude. You, you can do whatever you want to. Did I send you there? No. Um, I would like you to heal up. If you could. You can establish a set. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Uh, establish a sect. School. Sect, cave, abode, shan, pagoda. Sect seems like a good idea. Mansion. House, gang. Oh, gang. We're going with gang. This is going to be the second coming of the Steve gang. Perfect. Sect leader. Okay. Who's going to be our sect? The second coming of the Steve gang? Who's going to be our sect leader? Yeah. Sect meals? You guys can eat whatever you want. We can establish a branch. Okay, we need to be paradise. Disciple list. I guess he is the inner disciple. You should be... You should be the leader, Steve. That's fine. We can select rules. It's fine. Laws... It's, it's also fine. You, you do whatever you want to do. Alright, we need to heal Steve. That's the important part. How do you heal Steve? I don't know. He is going to wooden table right now. I think he's eating. He's accepting healing. Oh, Shantai was trying to heal him, I think. Has he been healed? Okay, we'll fully recover in 3, 5, 6 seconds. Okay. That's good. We done it, boys. Now, just build this last... Thing and we're fine. Now, can we turn this... Oh, the tiger is unconscious. Uh, I need you to hunt this. Can you feed it? Hmm. Let's see. We can transport them. We could hunt them. But then somebody's not gonna have a hunting bow, right? Can you just go and defeat this tiger? I guess not. Is he doing it? Oh, he's doing it. Yeah, finish it off. I don't want that tiger attacking us again. Okay. Oh, he he got him. I think he got him. Yeah, the tiger's dead. Oh, did he butcher him? I think he got him. Good. And also, we all have bedrooms now. How nice is that? I like it. Shantai? Where are you going? Oh, there's tiger meat. 
Well, that's 130 tiger meat. Can we cook it? We can probably cook it at the bonfire. You can dry meat. Yes. Uh, dry meat forever. Who's our cook? We need a cook. We need a chef. Uh, Steve. Switch to a chef. Also, this is outer disciple work plan. Where is my inner disciple? Someone is hurt. Three people. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> what, is, what is wrong with you? Oh, you guys all have the pol polonosis, huh? That might end up being kind of bad for us. But okay. So, Neo Zhang, what do you do? You can draw a talisman. Nurse Apple with golden core state or higher to acknowledge as master and study from them. Nah. Oh, we can maybe... No, I thought we could maybe train from the mysterious cultivator who took our bed. Let's see. This one belongs to Steve. This is New Zhang. And this one is Shay. So we need Long Zhen. This is Long Zhen's room. Get out of here, you dude. That's really rude. Alright, let's create a room where we can actually uh, build some stuff, right? Where we can have our tables and such. So let's leave a bit over here, so boys can walk through, but maybe go down here, this is going to be a big room. Go like this, go like that, and then build us a door there. Alright, go. Let's go, let's start building. Everybody is hurt, I hope nothing too terrible is going to happen, but hey. Oh, okay, uh, Lang Shen is cooking. So we have some spoiled meat, but also some dried meat. Fair enough. I have a feeling our storage is going to have to be bigger. Let's increase the storage size. Yeah, that might be smart. Okay, we increased it in there. There is something wrong with the mood of the Oh boy. Mood is an important stat to watch no matter what activity <laughs> a character is involved Okay, he's he's cultivating. You can the character's mood in the character menu. But he's not the happiest. Options. Clearly. Probably because of the... He's obsessed with killing. I hope not. You, you cultivate whatever you want to cultivate. I, I don't know exactly what he's going to do, but let him do whatever he wants to do. You have a herb garden as well. Oh, uh, we should maybe plant some herbs. Yeah, let's plant some uh, ginseng. Medicinal herb. Yes. Do that. Let's go. We're going to need to add some floors for these uh, buildings. So let's maybe go with uh, uh, timber station, handcraft station. Let's go with a handcraft station first and then a timber station there. Maybe a stonework station right here. And then a uh, medicine station. Right there. Okay. Forge, loom, talisman. We can... I guess we can wait for those. But for now, go with these ones. Oh, everybody's sleeping. Are you guys sleeping in the same... Where, where is... Uh... New Junk is there. Where are you? Oh, he's sleeping. Oh, he's not sleeping. He's just chilling. I guess we're gonna have to build something. And Nirjang is mentally unstable. He's watching the snow. <laughs> Why? He's got a mental breakdown. Nearby, he star stared at nearby Steve, zoning out, while cutting ginkgo. Suddenly wanted to eat peers. Smart. Okay. He start, his mind started drifting towards Steve. He really likes Steve. But he does have a mental breakdown. Maybe it goes with not having a freaking bedroom. Maybe you should build your bedroom. Uh, let's chop down these trees, please. That big tree as well. And we're just gonna add one more bedroom over here, yeah? Like this. Since that guy wants to sleep with us, apparently. So, sure. Why not? Uh, as long as we have enough wood, which we might not have. So we're gonna chop more stuff over here. Oh, what, what, did, he, what did he just do? Did he kill the bull? Yeah, that's a dead bull. Alright, butchered that thing. Hell yeah. Steve's gonna do that. Bull hide, bull meat. Look at all the spoiled meat and dried meat that we have on the ground. I think we should... Um, 
build a kitchen of some sorts. For now, let's do a storage area, maybe in here. Probably not the smartest, but hey. And let's do... Uh, can you do clear all? Uh, normal priority, I guess. I would like to clear it all. So go with... Uh, oh, these are those. Large fish. No. So no cultivation. No gear, no material. No miscellaneous. Go food. Food. Not... Yeah, go food. Consumables. And sure, you know what? Let's make it high priority for food. There you go. Somebody bring stuff over here. Whoever is our peon, do that. We do have medicinal herbs, uh, medicinal table. So we can make pain relievers, dyed jade. Also, why the hell is this weather constantly heavy rain due to Fey? Ah, okay. Probably that's a, a terrible thing to have. I don't know. <laughs> Let's slow things down. So, in hindsight, I've probably misplayed this a couple of times and not really done it perfectly well. But, to be honest, that's the fun of it, right? Why play it on easy when you can play it on slightly harder and, you know, probably have issues with it? It's a fun game. I want to play more. So, for now, thank you everybody for watching me play Amazing Cultivation Simulator. I'm going to play some more. And hopefully you guys will enjoy our huge amount of spoiled and dried meat. Lots more seems to be spoiled. That's fine. <laughs> Thanks for watching for now. I'll see you with more next time. For now, go crowd.